We are proud to present our solution for managing college of solid waste. We have prepared this short video to highlight the key capabilities of our solution as implemented at Ghazibad Municipal Corporation. As you know, our solution is based on GPS technology. In fact, you might be using this in some of your operations. It tells you the position of vehicle and distance in real time. But is that enough to help you improve your performance? If your driver says that he was able to make only one trip because there were no loaders, then can you identify such situations fast and respond to it? What we have done is to integrate concepts of total production management, GIS and GPS to bring a complete solution to manage haulage operations. We essentially cover three aspects. One aspect is supporting your shift start. Second is monitoring your operations. And third is reporting on your operations. Now, monitoring is not just knowing the position of vehicles. It's actually identifying exceptions and then providing support to follow through and respond to these exceptions. With this introduction, let's go and take a look at how the software works. So the software itself is available through the web, but obviously we need to install a device in each vehicle. Let's take a look at the first step in the process, shift startup. As you know, typically an hour is spent in allocating work for drivers and vehicles at the beginning of the shift. Our concept is to group your bins in what we call as operating station groups but which are similar to routes and then the task becomes assigning group of vehicles and drivers to these routes. You can manually assign it but we have a wizard. The wizard is very simple but very powerful. What it does is that it looks at vehicle availability and driver availability and optimally allocates it to different routes and figures out how to sequence the operations. While allocating, it balances good quality resources across routes so that good drivers can pace the operations for the entire team. It also balances loaders and tippers so that neither is waiting for the other. But obviously, Creating such a plan requires you knowing the availability of vehicles and knowing the availability of drivers. We have a very simple driver attendance roster to when drivers report in or check out. In fact, if you have a time and attendance system, we can integrate that as well. Vehicle availability is more interesting. We can automatically detect breakdowns and remove the vehicle from available list if the vehicle goes in garage. But we encourage you to record breakdown tickets. As part of this, you should put in when the vehicle went in for repair, when is it expected to come out, and when it actually came out. Now this is important because at any point of time, between 10 to 30 percent of the fleet might be unavailable because of breakdown. The ticketing helps you to record cause of breakdown and cycle time to repair. This way, you get complete information to identify ways to reduce time spent in breakdown. Now let's switch gears and look at operational monitoring. Let's first look at what might be useful to the supervisor. Obviously, monitoring can happen without doing all the planning. In fact, the demo that you are seeing is based on an implementation at Ghaziabad where the scope was only vehicle monitoring. We put other stuff on our own. That's why you will see lots of incomplete data. So let's look at this screen. 
what this column is saying is that when the operation started. Now look at the range in operation start. This is clearly an indication of lack of oversight or delays caused by allocation of work at the beginning of the shift. Now this tells you where is the vehicle. This tells you which bin was last picked or when did it last go to the dump yard. So between this you will get an information or indication of where the vehicle is in trip transit. This tells you how long has the vehicle been stopped. Well this tells you the number of bins picked and number of unloads done. So this way you get a complete picture of your fleet in one place. But we strongly suggest you to also use exception monitoring. Essentially this module uses business rules to monitor for exceptions and provides a high throughput tool for users to process these exceptions. These exceptions can be sent as email or SMS. But in a large scale operations, follow through is not possible on email or SMS. In fact, it's not even monitorable whether follow through is happening or not. So as these exceptions come, they will come up in this window. The analyst's responsibility is to first acknowledge that he has seen this exception and then initiate the process for finding out why it has happened and how to address it. He might be talking to the driver, he might be look, talking to supervisors, he might be looking at like data about other vehicles, whatever. He also needs to record a summary of actions and the reasons so that a post-mortem analysis can be done to identify improvement opportunities. In fact, we have found that even in mining operations where the area of work is just 4-5 square kilometer and there are people everywhere, performance can be improved by almost 10%. Now let's look at some of the reporting capabilities. Being a service company which is open to the public, which is meant for the public, one question that will frequently come up is if a bin was picked up, when and who picked it up? Let's look at how the software answers this question. I will look at today's date and we'll choose the timing and the pickup vehicle which picked up the bin. And now let's look at the results. What it's saying is that okay, this bin was picked up at this time and this was the vehicle that was used to pick up this bin. In fact, not only can you look at bin pickage on a given day, but you can also look it over a period of time for each and every bin. For example, we are going to look at across four days. And what you see here is that some bins are not picked up daily. It may be part of rotating plan or it might be missing of work by drivers. But this is for customer service. Let's look at some reports that help you drive performance. Here is a simple performance summary of the vehicle. We call it general haulage. This report gives a complete accounting of where the vehicle is spending time and how much work it has done. For example, if you look at this vehicle, 9676. It was stored for 22 hours of which almost 19 and a half hours were spent in parking area. It was just moving for 1 hour 19 minutes and it spent about 11 hours in dump yard. And it made, it picked two bins and made two trips to the dump yard. It started its operations some day on 8.38, some days on 8.27, some days on 8.07, some days on 8.01, which is good. But if you look, compare it with other vehicles, you'll see the other vehicles are starting sooner than this vehicle. So, 
there is still scope for improvement here both either in terms of either working with the driver to help him adhere to timelines or by improving the scope and reducing the time required for allocation of work and i particularly like this particular report This report is telling you, is going to give you a comparative view of vehicles across a period of time. You can choose multiple criteria, any criteria here, but let's look at, for example, the comparison across the last week. Now, what this is telling you in one snap is that for a given vehicle, the number of trips made on different days. Now if you compare, for example 0381 is mostly red, while this vehicle is mostly yellow or green. Obviously this, there is some issue with this particular vehicle, either it is operating in a difficult route or the driver is just loitering around. Similarly if you look at a particular day, you will see most of these things are red. This is indicative not of a vehicle or driver related issue, but an operational issue. In addition to this information, you have like all kind of information, details of trips, timings and everything. You have seen how we can help you improve your operations. There is much more. So let me invite you to play around with our software. Here is the URL and the username and password. Please bear in mind, this is a live installation. So do not make changes to the data. Also, as mentioned earlier, this implementation was geared towards vehicle monitoring and all the other stuff regarding planning and bin counting and everything was gratis. So you might see some incomplete data there. Thank you.